California is embarking on an ambitious new plan to eliminate cars that run on fossil fuel. It's part of a plan to tackle the effects of climate change. But can the power grid handle a, two, a much larger electrical load? Iris Spitzer finds out. Pulling into the driveway and charging up. That's expected to be the norm in California in the years to come. 2020's devastating fire season here has made combating climate change through reducing carbon emissions even more of a priority. By 2035, in the next 15 years, we will eliminate in the state of California the sales of internal combustion engines. The shift is expected to be mostly towards electric cars, which last year were only around 5% of the nearly 2 million cars sold in the state. But it's easier said than done. If 2 million electric vehicles plug charged at the same time, um, it would be about three times as much demand as the entire electric grid. That challenge is spurring technological innovation such as what's known as managed charging, in this case, through an app called FlexCharge. If I didn't have solar on my roof, the FlexCharge system would look and say, wow, maybe you're paying 25 cents a kilowatt hour in the daytime, but only 10 cents at night, and it would pause the car and, and, and then charge it more later in the evening when the, the rates fell. Some experts expect to see this on a much larger scale. Utility companies would communicate with each electric vehicle, lessening the load on the grid and shifting charging to the times of day when renewable energy sources are the strongest. Well, in one sense, millions of electric vehicle batteries, like the ones in these Teslas here, could be seen as a drain on California's electricity grid. They could also be seen as a resource to store power, with each battery potentially able to power a home for a few days. Bidirectional chargers offer possibilities to put power back into the home or grid. Well, at certain times, you could even use that electric vehicle to support your home, the battery in that electric vehicle. There is technologies coming out. They call it vehicle to grid, vehicle to building, etc. So a lot of that stuff is just starting to come into the marketplace. You know, to There's still a lot to be worked out. But with the U.S. set to rejoin the Paris Climate Accord under President-elect Joe Biden, innovations like these are expected to provide a boost in California and around the country. Iris Betzer, CNA, San Francisco.